that I hope these shareholders know how to work on an assembly line because those are going to be the only people left to build cars come September 15th. Ten days left before a looming UAW strike. The union and the big three U.S. automakers are far apart on a new contract agreement. You're watching Wave News at 6. I'm John Bowles. And I'm Myred Sari. 12,000 workers are part of the union at Ford's local plants, and they're treating, they're, they are treating to threatening to strike, but Kentucky's auto industry has more than 100,000 workers. Wave News reporter Mark Stevens says the impact of a strike would cause a ripple effect for those workers, too. Yeah, auto workers in Kentucky build cars and trucks. They also make brakes, steering systems, and seats. If the assembly plants stop work, the supporting factories will like begin to shut down too. Ford has a chance to lead here, but sadly, they are choosing a low road approach. As UAW President Sean Fain says contract talks remain far apart at Ford and broken at GM and Stellantis, a possible strike grows day by day. That's not good news for Kentucky. Our auto sector is truly on fire. Uh, exciting to see all the opportunities, and this is just the start. Politicians have touted the growth of the industry for years, and new factories were always the pride of economic development leaders. 224 families are going to benefit from the, the location in River Ridge. Kentucky has added 15,000 jobs in the automotive industry over a decade. The state has thousands of workers who make brakes, suspensions, and seat cushions. It means 450 Kentucky families are going to feel a lot more confident when they go to sleep at night that they can put food on the table for their family and keep a roof over their heads. Supply chains for Toyota should be fine since the plant is not unionized. But other suppliers may have to lay off workers as orders dry up at the Ford and GM assembly plants here if work stops. It's a full strike and they can run some things using management, but they can't run everything, then that has the ripple effect. Ariana Levinson believes the UAW will avoid a strike, but she says the threat of a nationwide strike helps pressure the automakers to sweeten their offers. It's a lot more pressure if you don't know, you know, who will be struck, who will negotiate the first contract. The UAW contracts at all three U.S. automakers expire around midnight, September 14th. Mark Stevens, Wave News. Thanks, Mark.